You know what I've realized over the years is that a lot of artists have a really hard time with comparing themselves to other music artists. And I used to not get it, but now I kind of do, right? Like you don't want to let that artist influence your musical decisions. Um, maybe you don't want to box yourself in or, or just start to get discouraged because you're looking at these artists. And that's fine when it comes to the creative process, but when it comes to music marketing, everything starts with having an idea of whose music fans will resonate with you and that does require you to think of yourself inside of a box right like think of yourself in comparison to other artists um, and other sounds so you can figure out what direction to push yourself in and if you're one of those artists that does have a hard time doing that then what i'm going to do in this video is give you some really practical easy tips that you can do to start to better create a targeted artist list so your marketing can become a1 top tier super saucy and you can find those music fans that you're looking for and if you're new to the channel, my name is Corey. I'm a music marketer, co-founder of Country Brand Agency. We've worked with artists like 24K Golden, Nick D, Alexa Capelli, Macy Gray, Tom the Mailman, and a bunch of other really dope artists. And my goal is to give out all the marketing sauce that I can so that you can make your music dreams an actual reality. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the video. So tip number one is to ask people around you. That's right, super simple. Ask people whose musical opinions you trust, who does your music make them think of? Right. So what I would do is I would play them the song that you want to market and just go like, hey, bro, like, who does this song make you think of? And as you're doing this, take notes of artist names that come up a lot. Right. So if you ask five different people, who do you sound like or who does your music make them think of? And all five people say Kodak Black and Kodak Black needs to be in your target artist list. Right. If all five people say Olivia Rodrigo or Drake, then Olivia Rodrigo and Drake need to be in your target artist list. The benefit of this is that music consumers don't think about comparing artists the same way that artists think about comparing artists, right? Like, it's a little offensive to you guys at times, but music consumers naturally do it, right? Like, we naturally put people in those boxes. So if you have people around you that aren't thinking about music from an artist perspective, but are thinking about it from a consumer perspective, then they can become a really good go-to source for getting those recommendations on who you should be targeting. Now, I did say take notice of the names that come up a lot. But also just take notice of any names that these people say, right? These names may become artists that you put on your supplemental target artist list. They may be people who you just try a little marketing here and there to their fan base to see how people resonate with. And it may help you fill out that list much better because once again, music consumers are really easily able to compare artists to each other in a way that music artists typically aren't able to. So use your friends, your families, your little cousins, your aunties, your mom as a resource in that regard so that you don't have to think about it too hard. Now tip number two is to use a tool called Charlie. Chart metric. Now, chart metric is a data analysis tool. I've talked about it on this channel before. It's really popular with music marketers and labels and publishers and people who just really like to see data and see a lot of things from the back end. Um, so what I'm going to do is actually go into chart metric and show you how you can use it to help you build out your target artist list. So what you're going to do is you're going to log into chartmetric.com. Um, create an account if you don't have one. If you do, just log into it. And then once you're here, you want to go and search out artists that you do have a good idea of that you think their fans will like your music. This can come from tip number one, where you've been asking people around, or if you just have a good idea, you know what I'm saying, already, then you can start with them. Um, another tip that I don't know where it fits in this video, so I'm just going to give it now, is think about your own musical influences. Most artists that I know, their music is usually a combination of artists that they like, right? So if I hear artists that likes like Travis Scott, I don't know, like Gucci, and like Olivia Rodrigo, their music tends to be a really weird mix of like all the stuff that they like, right? So think about it that way if, it's a, if you have a hard time um, comparing yourself or if you don't have friends for whatever reason to ask their opinion on. Think about who you like as a music consumer and then start from there. But assuming that you do have an artist that you know you can compare yourself to, what I want you to do is I want you to come in the chart metric and then search that artist out. So I'm gonna do SZA just cause she's already right here. And once you're in chart metric, you'll see a little artist profile where you're able to see like all their streaming growth, all their social growth. Um, you can see like what positions they are on certain charts. But the section I want you to pay the most attention to is the fans also like section up here in the top right, right? So if you look at Scissors, you can see they have Kalani, Janai Eco, Her, Ella May, Summer Walker, Kelly Uchis, Georgia Smith, Tanache, and a bunch of really other cool R&B artists that um, the data is starting to associate her and her music with. So if you're someone that's building at a little bit of ground zero, you can look at your target artist list and then start to go look at who their social platforms and their streaming data are comparing them to in one aggregated place within Chartmetric. So if I was an R&B artist who felt like SZA was on my targeted artist list, but I didn't know where to go from there, I would come look at this fans also like section and go like, okay, cool, I should be targeting Kalani and Janae Aiko and her and LMA and Sir and Victoria Monet and all these other people that are listed out because their worlds overlap. So it's gonna be a good way for me to pull fans out of that space 
right? But then also get in front of fans through artists who I may have never thought about on my own. And you can do this with a bunch of other artists, right? So if we go type in someone like, I don't know, let's look at Drake and see who Drake's list is, right? We can see here that chart metric is uh, saying his fans also like J. Cole and Migos, Lil Wayne, Future, 21 Savage, Big Sean, right? A bunch of other like really mainstream rappers. So once again, if you can at least get a little bit of a targeted artist list put together, either through your own thought process um, through your friends and family who you're asking or just do however you put it together then chart metric can become a really easy way for you to put that target artist list together because you can search those artists out come to their fans also like section and then rinse and repeat from there right so i may go like okay cool i target drake fans i should also target j cole fans then let me click into j cole see who j cole has been associated with oh cool kendra lamar asap rocky big shine two chains etc etc right so once again chart metric can become a really easy way for you to put that list together once you have at least one or two artists to kind of start with now if you're someone that's familiar with chart metric you know that it is typically a little pricey right um, it usually starts at $140 a month for the premium plan, around $1,400 for the year if you want to just drop that bag like that. Um, but they have rolled out a new artist plan recently that has made it a lot more affordable and a lot more accessible to the typical indie artist. So if you look here on my screen, you can see that artist plan is only $10 a month um, or $100 a year. And within that, you're able to subscribe up to three artists. So this is great for a solo artist that's really only looking to track themselves. Or if you're like a manager or a label with a small roster, then this plan will work for you as well. And within it, you get most of the basic features of Chartmetric. You're able to see the 28 days of historical database, um, basic data access on, on a bunch of artists in the platform. And you can use it to put together that targeted artist list that I just talked about um, for really cheap, right? So that's pretty dope. I wanted to plug that. I'll link to Chartmetric in the description below if it's something that you want to check out. It's a tool that me and my marketing team use a lot to build targeted artist lists for clients when we're running marketing campaigns. And it's, it's just gotten a lot of the, the, the legwork out the way for us. So I recommend it. I stand by it 100%. Check it out if it's something that you can that you can afford and want to budget into your marketing tools. And tip number three is actually a little bit of a visualization technique, right? So you got to follow me here. You got to stay with me. What I want you to do is I want you to close your eyes and I really want you to close my, your eyes. You see mine are closed, close your eyes, right? And once you get them closed, what I want you to imagine is imagine you're at a concert and you're performing for an artist that is much bigger than yourself. What artist would that be where you feel like their crowd wouldn't boo you, right? So for example, if Taylor Swift were to open up for Kodak Black, I'm 100% sure that crowd will boo her. You know what I'm saying? Like, it would get ugly in the venue and it just wouldn't make sense. And then the same thing would probably happen if you flipped it. If Kodak Black opened for Taylor Swift, their crowd would probably boo him. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and it wouldn't make sense. So think about it this way, right? Think about what artists would you be able to open up for at a show or a concert or a festival and you feel like their fan base will resonate really well with you. This has been a visualization technique that I get a lot of my clients to do, especially the ones who have a hard time comparing themselves to art, other artists. And it usually works, right? Like most artists, you have an idea of like whose crowd you would love to go perform in front of. And that's no different than thinking about whose artists do I want to market myself to so I can pull fans away from their fan base. It's the exact same concept. So use that technique. It works. You know what I'm saying? If the other two don't work really well for you, just think about it. Who could I perform for or perform and open for? And their crowd wouldn't boo me off the stage and make me feel bad and go home and cry at night. So there it is, guys. Those are my three tips on how you can put together a better targeted artist list, especially for those of you who have a hard time comparing yourselves to other artists who have a hard time putting yourself in the box and, and just using that to move in, in, in a good direction. And like I said, like creating that target artist list is where most marketing campaigns start. I don't know what to do or where to run the ads or what influencers to use if I don't have a good idea of like whose fan base we're trying to tap into. And no matter how big or small of an artist you are, you're always going to need a target artist list because there's always somebody out there with fans that you want, you know what I'm saying, that you want to come listen to your music. And music fans are complex, bro. There's overlap, you know what I'm saying? So don't look at it like, oh, just because, um, you know, I make trap rap music but I make it kind of poppy that like 21 Savage fans wouldn't like me. They might. You won't know that until you start running the marketing and, you know, put them on your target artist list anyway and see what happens from there. Other than that, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Share this with somebody that you feel like needs to hear this information. And then also let me know what does your targeted artist list look like? Who do you have on your top five, your top 10? What artists have produced good results for you in your marketing campaigns? Drop it in the comment section below. I would love to check it out and see how you guys are already thinking about your music marketing campaigns. With that being said, once again, my name is Corey and I'll see y'all next time.